Hello everyone, in the next two videos, I'm going to show you two ways of creating a waffle chart. So it's going to look something like this, where you use squares um, in a uh, hundred squares uh, to show a percentage of completion. So for example, this one is 65%, so you have 65 squares, um, and then you can make it dynamic to change it to whatever you want. Um, and then in the next video, I'm gonna show you something that is more complicated. So um, it is showing a customized marker for whatever purpose that you wanna show. And then again, like it's also, um, dynamic so okay so let's get started with the easier one first okay so to do this one uh, first you um, you have your spreadsheet and uh, usually for myself I have a preference to get rid of the uh, grid line so it looks neater um, but like it's just an option for you so for example let's see uh, let's say I'm gonna um, copy this just to make it easier for me for my purpose and then let's say I want to shrink the um, the width of my columns so I'm gonna use this box here and then what I'm gonna do is that I'm starting from the first one and then I'm gonna have like 1% um, and let me shrink the font so you can see what number I'm putting there. So 1% and then for the next one, I'm adding one more percent. Oops. So I guess I need to change the font for everything here to... Okay. 7% maybe. Let me see. Oh, okay, I see. So everything I need to make it like that okay so and then I'm gonna copy it um, down so until I hit 10% and then for the rolled up I'm gonna have 1% plus 10% because I want to have 11% in it okay you know what, let's do the formatting at the end because it's getting annoying. Um, and then actually I want the same formula up. So I'm gonna do the, copy the formula. It's still looking like that, but then let me copy this formula up. So that, um, so the key thing here is that you are seeing uh, each of those cells mark, uh, marking from 1% to 100%. Okay, so this, Okay, get rid of. Okay, so now you have this box. Um, and then let's say uh, for my basic color, I want to make it orange. So that's the orange. And then um, I want the white gray line uh, in between. So let me format my cells for my border. Um, let's say I want white. And then I want it for airy single corner of everything okay so i'm not having that yeah okay so now i'm having it in all my cells so let me now make it squarish okay so this is how it's looking like um and then now let's format um let's um, apply a conditional formatting to it so that the rule is that uh, for all the numbers in my cell if the number is greater than the cell then we want to make it gray so let me select everything and then go to conditional formatting highlight my cell that's greater than let's say 87 so it's this cell so just select it and then you can format to whatever uh, format that you want and then let's see let's say we just want to grade it out and then we go okay and then now you have the perfect uh, format you have and then let's say we want to change to 45 perfect 100 perfect 3 perfect okay so everything is perfect now except for we don't want to show this uh, we don't want to show this letter right so of course one way you can do it is to just uh, make your uh, numbers exactly the same color as your cell another way to do it is actually select all your cell uh, go to format 
go to number, go to custom, and then for the type, type three semicolon, and then OK, because um, this, what we just did was essentially saying that hide all the content uh, for our selected cell, and then now it's all hidden. Um, and then it doesn't affect anything that you want to do for this dynamic uh, waffle chart. Okay, so that is how you can do a waffle chart um, in like three minutes. Uh, it's a really easy method. In the next video, I'm going to show you a more advanced version of how to do a waffle chart with customized markers. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.